Hello. I'm Kelly. And I'm Caitlin. We are Cooking with Caitlin, and we are cooking what is what you need to be cooking in March. Well, that just rolled right off the top. Natural. So hey, natural. here's a good run for entertaining the mint pistachio cheese ball. Okay, so one of the best things about spring is that the first things to come out of the ground or that you can grow yourself are fresh herbs. So come March, I'm so tired of green oh vegetables, gosh. of woody, rosemary, all of that good stuff. Yep. So dun, 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 dun. get some fresh herbs in your Mint. life. Yes. So this is an awesome, easy recipe. I'm actually really excited because you, I created the recipe. Kelly has cooked it a lot. A lot. She entertains. So it's fun to do it together. So, oh, fun. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Lots of touching. Okay. In the Speaking of cheese ball. All of the ingredients in the recipe formally are down below. But here in the food processor, I have um, just some shelled pistachios. And then I just tore some fresh mint in. Mm. It's going to be a little loud. Okay. It was like flying everywhere. Okay. You want it to be a fine consistency. Being assaulted. Yowzers. Okay, so then you have that in a separate bowl. Can I have Anna? Sure. Hold on. Let me finish getting it all out. Okay. But then, so you don't have to do dishes to the same food processor that has a little bit of pistachios and mint still in there. Add garlic stuffed olives. Right out of the jar. Right, right out of the jar. There you go. Oh, they're so good. Okay. And then oh, this is kind of a cheese. That's weird. Oh, um, this is kind <laughs> of a cheese your own adventure. If you want consistency in your cheese ball, just roughly call some. If you want to. I mean, if you want, like, whatever kind of texture of olive. Right, right, right. It, yeah. Um, so one of my favorite stories with this recipe is when Kelly served it to our mom. And she was like, you're going to love it. There's so much garlic in here. Our mom would never touch an olive. No. And Mom, she ate it. She ate it all. You. She did great. Okay, so in this bowl, I have two bricks of cream cheese. Softened to room temperature. Yes. Thank God I'm here. A half cup of feta. And then just add the olives. With your paws. With your paws. Like this. Set that aside. Mix this Speaking up. Speaking of setting aside, can I move this? Yeah, so people can see better. Yeah. I just want everyone to enjoy everything that I have going on here. This is something you can give to your kids to do. You know what I thought you were going to say about your I'm favorite not touching it. moment about the cheese ball? Oh, what? Was when I was all prepped to make it oh, before no. we were going to someone's house. I had all the ingredients lined up. And for whatever reason, well, I could, was only able to find pistachios that were in the shell that day. Yeah. So I had put my girls to work shelling them. And literally it was like a something that movies are made out of like these children shell <laughs> pistachios like all from the, every knuckle. their paws are like this and then we left we left to i don't know do what go to a basketball game or something came back my darling husband had eaten all the nuts yeah i wasn't gonna throw them under the bus oh i did yep <laughs> Anyway, sorry. It's all, all's well that ends well. Well, that's the, why I like the girls, to get a little their, extra. Their fingers are the their, their fingers are still shaped like this, but they oh they don't Here, burn so much. Plate. You're such a dark. <laughs> okay, so this actually makes two giant cheese balls. So you one can, giant one or two or, semi giant oh, or a whole bunch of little ones. Yes, as you can see in the picture. Okay, just for that, I was gonna say all sorry, of those things. Sorry, sorry. So one of my favorite things to do. You never want to be that person just getting involved in the cheese balls. I but, mean, you never want to be uh, that person. And then also the best part are is the crust with the pistachios in the yes. mix. So by making a mini, I just scoop this out um, with ice cream scoops and toss it in there. And then everybody gets their own ball. Yes. It's a very fun presentation, super easy and delicious. Caitlin, um, can I dig in? <laughs> do what you got to do. Do you want me to feed you? No, thank you. I'm okay. a little. I'm in too deep. Yeah. Um... Yes, you can make these days in advance, keep them in the fridge, and you are good to go. Mm. Look at her. That's a party trick in and of itself. Mm. It's so good. Okay, so good. click down below for the full recipe. I have a question. Yes. Would you, I would, like, if you're going to make them in advance, could you roll them right before you're going to serve them? Or sure. would you? The crunch, you don't really get that much crunch from the pistachios. Because it's been chopped up. Yeah. 
Whatever. Okay, you back do. to the wrap up. Yes. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow. Happy March. Yay! Yay see you. Bye bye. Okay, let's see.